हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे यू हैव टू स्टार्ट द लेक्चर ऑन द न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज द मेंस्ट्रुअल साइकिल इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडी अबाउट द ईस्ट्रस साइकिल इफ यू डिडंट सीन दिस वीडियो देन यू कैन सी द एट द आई बटन हियर एंड यू यू कैन सी दैट वीडियो एंड यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द ईस्ट्रस साइकिल आफ्टर क्लिकिंग ऑन दिस आई बटन नाउ दिस टॉपिक इज रिलेटेड विद द सब्जेक्ट जुआलॉजी फॉर द बी एस सी थर्ड इयर स्टूडेंट्स फॉर द सिक्स सेम इन द पेपर जनरल मेमोलियन फिजियोलॉजी अंडर द यूनिट रिप्रोडक्शन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर संतोष डी पुरी आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन शंकर लाल अग्रवाल साइंस कॉलेज सालेकसा डिस्ट्रिक्ट गोंदिया दिस कॉलेज इज अपेटेड टू नागपुर यूनिवर्सिटी नागपुर इन महाराष्ट्र स्टेट सो वी हेव टू अंडरस्टैंड यूर वॉट इज माई मेस्ट्रुअल साइकिल menstrual cycle means that is a sexual or reproductive cycle which occur in the female primate mammals only for example monkeys apes and women in these females what may be the reproductive cycles or sexual cycle seen this is the menstrual cycle now before understanding the details about the menstrual cycle we have to understood some introductory part that is we have to remember that at the birth time the girl child containing near about 2 million follicles with each with egg or ovum in the ovaries 2 million means near about 20 lakh follicles with the 20 lakh eggs but during the puberty age puberty means when there is a starting of the puberty from 13 to 14 years in india at that time the eggs become degenerated and only near about 3 lakh eggs remain during this period then later on throughout the total reproductive life that is the from puberty up to the menopause so during this life only near about 500 eggs will be ovulated for the fertilization then at the menopause means near about at the 45 years the women do not have the menstrual cycle and there is a production of the eggs become stop as well as there is a all may what may be the eggs are there remaining eggs were totally uh, die out so that uh, stage is called as a menopause and the menstrual cycle also stops during this you know, menopause then actually what is happen in the menstrual cycle so menstrual cycle is defined as it is nothing but the what may be the physiological changes taken repeatedly in the uterus or specially in the endometrium for the preparation to receive the fertilized eggs so that changes in the uterus that is called as a menstrual cycle now during the menstrual cycle actually there is a occurrence of the menstruation which are which is also called as menses or period it means that there is a loss of unfertilized eggs endometrial cells mucus and there is a blood flow which is called as a bleeding through the vagina that is called as a menstruation then we have to remember that that menstrual cycle specially begins at the puberty and ends at the menopause means from 15 years to 45 years age so near about 30 to 40 years that cycle uh, can seen in that particular females but because of changes in the hormones there is a egg production is stopped in the menopause and cycle also stops after the 45 years but this is the uh, uh, different age in the different uh, women depending on the health of that women menopause uh, age is different but average age is the 45 years at that time there is a uh, stoppage of the menstrual cycle then also you have to remember that the menstrual cycle occur repeatedly at every 28 days in the women now you can see this uh, symbol this cycle is divided into three parts that is the infertile parts fertile parts and again infertile parts mean at the starting of the menstruation the first week is the infertile or there is no fertilization 
and after the menstruation sorry after the ovulation the ovulation generally occur near about the 14th day and it may be occur during this period from 8 to 19 days and that's why this period is called as the fertile but again the last week from 20 to 28 days that is infertile so first week and last week these weeks are called step periods and uh, during this period there is a no fertilization okay then uh, we have to understood the phases of the menstrual cycle actually during the menstrual cycle ovarian and uterine events can be occur so what may be the events occur in the ovary that is called as the ovarian cycle and in the uterus that is called as a uterine cycle in the ovarian cycle the three stages are there follicular phase ovulation and luteal phase and in the uterine cycle menstruation proliferative phase secretory phase and again there is a next menstruation so the duration is 1 to 13 days of the follicular phase uh, the single 14th day for the ovulation and 15 to 28 days for the luteal phase but they may be variable as per the health of the uh, woman then uh, out of these 13 days menstruation occurs near about the 1 to 4 days or sometime five, up to the 5 days and the proliferative phase from 5 to 13 days so then we have to understand diagrammatically now see your follicular phase during which how the follicles can develop ovulation how the egg can release from the follicle and luteal phase formation of the carpus luteum and in the uterus for the first four to five days menstruation then proliferation then secretory phase and then again menstruation now see here follicular phase uh, during this phase first of all at the first four to five days there is a menstruation or menses or period and during this period there is a loss of near about 10 to 80 ml of blood the also there is a shedding of the endometrium through the uterus uh, and also you have to remember that what may be the blood flow taken during the menstruation uh, the clotting of this blood is inhibited because of the plasmin enzyme during the menstruation also there is a cramping in the abdomen back and the upper thighs uh, during the menses and that's why there is a use of the sanitary products or pads to uh, stop the flow of the uh, menses then actually in the follicular phase uh, there is a development of the follicles because of the fsh hormone follicle stimulating hormone that can stimulate to the follicles and what may be the follicles from the birth this can be developed and out of this one follicle totally matured and that is called as a graphene follicle and that can form the ovum or the egg then what happened during the menstruation what may be the damage was there that can be repaired and after repairing there is a starting of the proliferative phase in the uterus so uh, what may be the estrogen hormone secreted by the follicle so that hormone can helpful for the growth of the endometrium as well as for the production of cervical mucus in the cervix so that mucus can indicate the fertility awareness in the woman now diagrammatically you can see how there is a growth of the follicle occur and mature that is the graphene follicle is produced with the egg or the ovum then uh, between the two uh, that phases that is the uh, follicular phase and the luteal phase there is was there is one event that is called as the ovulation so during the ovulation what happened there is a release of the egg from the graphene follicle that process is called as a ovulation so what happened estradiol that is the estrogen can stimulate to the anterior pituitary and there is a releasing of the more quantity of lh and fsh hormone so these hormones specially helpful for the maturation of the egg in the graphene follicle and later on there is a bursting of the graphene follicle and because of that what may be the secondary oocyte inside of the graphene follicle that can releases and that process is called as a ovulation 
later on this oocyte can matured into the ootid and ootid is developed into the mature oom now what happen if there is a fertilization not occur that unfertilized egg become degenerate in the fallopian tube or the uh, that uh, oviduct uh, but if the fertilization occur then there is a formation of diploid zygote then it can divide mitotically and there is a formation of blastocyst and that blastocyst enter into the uterus and there is a implantation implantation means that fixing of the blastocyst into the uterus and thus pregnancy can occur uh, normally you can see here how the ovulation taken that quantity of the lh hormone can increase and that can mature the ovum or egg and there is a release of the egg from the follicle that process is called as a ovulation then luteal phase during this phase the fsh and lh hormone can stimulate to the empty graafian follicle and these are converted into the carpus luteum and what will be the estradiol and progesterone uh, were produced there so these hormones can inhibit the fsh and lh hormone and because of that there is a prevention of the development of additional follicles and also there is a disappearance of the carpus luteum during this phase then this luteal phase is also called as a secretory phase because in the uterus uh, what may be the progesterone quantity is increased by the formation of carpus luteum so this progesterone hormone can helpful for the glandular appearance in the endometrium and that will be receptive for the implantation and that can support for the early pregnancy and that changes occur during the secretory phase then lastly what happen when there is a no fertilization there is a falling in the quantity of the progesterone hormone and there is a starting of the menstruation so this indicate there is a beginning of the next menstrual cycle now see here how the carpus luteum is formed that graafian follicles are converted in the yellow body these are called as a carpus luteum so uh, from this uh, phase we have to understand here uh, again there is a menstruation can start and that is the uh, starting of the new menstrual cycle i hope you understood about the menstrual cycle if you like this video then you can share this video and also subscribe this channel that is the techno scientific motivator dr sd puri for getting the more videos of the zoology thank you thank you very much